Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. Let's have some fun tonight for our Monday night Orna Monday. So guys, get in here. Uh, let's see, getting the iPad pulled up. How's everybody tonight? I hope you guys have had a good Monday. It's our Thanksgiving week, so I know that lots of you are gonna be busy. Lots of people are getting ready for company. That means cleaning and preparing food and all the things. So we may have a slim crew here tonight, so help us get this out there. Hello guys, hi Patty. Thank you for sprinkling, I appreciate you. Hi Donna, how are you guys? Glad you're here. Okay, we got it coming up here. All right, so tonight I'm gonna paint for you a little Grinch inspired ornament. So we can paint it, we can't sell it because it is copyrighted. So, you know, people can paint these for their own enjoyment, put it on the tree. You just can't sell it. So we will have fun painting this. It's a really cute one, I hope. So come on in. Hello, Joy. Hi, Dina, how are you today? It was so fun yesterday and today I was cleaning up in here and found your ribbon and thought, oh, this is so cool. And I have this little snowflake and a little tree. So I had little remembrances of Dina this morning when I came in here. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Rosie. I'm doing pretty good right now, y'all. Doing pretty good. I just have to really baby this back. But other than that, we're doing pretty good today. Hello, Marie. Glad y'all are here. Well, hi, Linda. Are you moved? I'm so excited to hear about your move. Hi, Linda. Thank you for sprinkling. I sure appreciate you guys. Hi, Pam. Okay, well, let's get started. You know I love to do wood. Um, I was going to paint on this ceramic, but it's so small that I thought I'll go to the wood and make this a little larger for you guys to see. So I just sketched out a little wonky tree. So, you know, something like that. And then I've sketched out a little ho, ho, ho. And the Grinch is one of the ornaments or whatever. So I've got a couple of ornaments and then I've got the Grinch at the top. So that's my little design that we're going to paint on here. Patty, you did, um, which message? I'm not even sure. Hi, Tina. I love that you're from Garland. We lived in Rowlett. We've lived in Garland. We've been all over the Metroplex at, over the last 30, well, 50 years, really. So, hello, Denise. Oh, thank you. Um, did you, let's see. Let me see if I can reach it. The diamond does look so pretty. Can y'all see? I know, I can't, it's so hard to get it on camera that glitter, but it really is pretty. So I loved doing this. I was nervous, but it all turned out fine as it always does. Hi Leanne. So let's get started. I'm gonna get out our whimsical colors. We're gonna use some of our glitter paints and all that good stuff. Um, for our background, let me think. Let me think. Hmm, maybe white or a bright blue. What do we think? Bright white or bright blue? Because I like to keep, you know, the colors kind of accurate. So we're gonna have the lime green and, and a green and a red. So blue will be good, or we could just do white. So I'm gonna look and see if you guys have a preference. Thank you, Sharon. It was a lot of fun. If you missed it, you can watch all of the presenters. Everybody did a great job. I was so impressed and always so happy to be a part with all these other amazing crafters. I am, uh, I get by, but I'm not, you know, well, let's just say I had a little trouble with decoupaging, okay? I can paint, but I cannot do all the things that they can do so easily. I get it done in my own way, but it was so much fun. Of course, Deborah, I hope you have a good, had a good day. And hope you're having a good day today, too. Hi, Carol. Thank you guys for coming. Oh, Kathy's on. Um, are you talking about Darren, this Kathy? Let's see. Let me go back a little bit. Oh, did you, Linda? If I knew that, I forgot. That is so cool. I can't get that open, y'all. Oh, well, we're going to go with blue. We're going with blue. I love blue. I put that with my winter stuff too. Last box you're sending out. Oh. <laughs> um, 
listen, that that would not have bothered me one bit. I thought it was so funny that that you were truly, I mean, not funny, funny, but like, I guess I'm, I don't know, I'm weird, I guess, because that would not have phased me. I thought it was not funny, funny, but you know, it was like, it's just a mouse trap. I mean, it's, it's, it's not used. I don't know. It takes a lot to upset me, I think, or to scare me. Now, if it had been um, a live something, you know, an animal or bug, that's different. It was just a little mouse trap, which is just wood, just like a little wood blank, Dina. I think we need to work on your little fears. So we're probably all going to have to come figure out what we can do next for you. <laughs> I'm teasing. I think whoever gets you next will go really easy on you. And I appreciate you going easy on me. And I thought I went easy on Beth, but I know she she had a little, not hard time, because she's a complete pro, but, you know, it took a minute for her to, to get a vision. And that's just what this is all about. You know, it's just all about um, throwing us kind of off our game and throwing in some challenges and mixing it up from what, it's easy to do what we normally do. So we can get in here and paint something or craft something that we always do, no problem. But the fun comes in when you mix it up and you say, well, I know you like to paint, but here, have some decoupage or here, uh, have a mousetrap, you know, that's where the fun comes in. So if you missed anybody, go to Maddie, the Crafty Farm Girl. She has a group and it's Mystery Box Challenge. You can go back to my last video, which would have been yesterday, and I've got the group linked in the video description if you want it. So this is a really pretty, just a royal blue or a true blue, primary blue, primary blue. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's hard to sit and watch, you know, one after the other. Most of us have stuff we have to get done or, or have to go somewhere and... So we, that's okay. Oh, thank you, Anne. How are you? Have you gotten all your packages in the mail? I know you have. I'm sure you have because I've been kind of watching everybody's and there's a couple that have had issues like one of them is just stuck at the mail distribution center in their state or in their town, but they're not delivering it. So it's been there for like seven days now. So we're just going to resend her another one because who knows what they've done with it. But it's really frustrating because once it leaves my house, I mean, it's out of my control. Okay, so I keep seeing Digital Deco. Is she on? Kathy, are you on? Ah, <laughs> Dina. <laughs> that was so funny. Hi, Jennifer. How are you tonight? Good. Okay, so... Is Darren feeling good, Kathy? He looked so pitiful in one of those pictures, but then I saw another one a day or two later and he looked good, so I'm thinking he might be okay. But there's so much going around. You had six return. Oh no, see, I'm, I'm really seeing an increase in delay. So uh, that bothers me because I really don't like people to have to wait on their packages. Y'all see how messy I am. I really hate that they have to wait so long to get something, you know, when you, I, I don't know. I think everybody is, like Amazon is number one. And so the rest of us just have to get in line and wait. Hi, Karen. How are you? I'm glad you're here. Hi, Lisa and Cecile. Okay, we've got this beautiful blue as our background. Let me just kind of trace these on with a chalk pen or chalk pencil so that I don't take up too much room. Um, this. I was going to say, I really don't have to even trace it, but I'm going to just so that I don't go over or mess up this design because I think it's going to be cute. So give me one sec while I kind of work on placement. Yeah, I think this will be super cute when we're done. And I will turn this towards y'all in just a second. So I did kind of some fun letters large at the top and small at the bottom and then flipped it and did the reverse and then just a cute little Grinch face again I can't sell this so I cannot put it in my Etsy store 
because I don't have a license with them, but I can paint it and you can paint it. So it'll be cute on our tree or as a little gift, you know, you can still have fun with it. And I'm not going to worry too much about getting this on here perfect. So tell me guys, are you guys cooking? So it's always kind of interesting to see who all's cooking the whole meal or basically, or are you just taking one dish? Tell me all the stuff. We're taking a, a few things over to Ron's dad's house. And, um, well not, honestly, it's not his house. It's, we're going to his sister's house and we're all meeting there. But anyway, um, for his dad. And so we're taking quite a few things so I kind of feel like it's almost like we're doing it here. But it's going to be fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing the other part of the family we don't usually get to see. Okay, got that on. That's what I was kind of wanting to be sure I got placement right. And then I'm going to put this over here, this little wonky tree. And then we will get it painted up real cute. And I've got some ribbon to add. I've got a little pom-pom if we need it. I've got a little jingle bell. I've got a few things over here to zhuzh it up so you guys can help me decide what to use. Okay, so now we've got our little tree. Okay, so can y'all see that we've got like, this is gonna be an ornament and this is gonna be an ornament, whoops. And then we've got the little Grinch guy right here. You kinda get this where y'all can see what I'm doing. His little Santa hat. Okay, we're in business. We're in business. We're cooking with gas, as somebody was saying yesterday. You don't do Thanksgiving in the UK. Do y'all do anything like it? You know, do you, or I mean, I know it's a US thing, so you may not, but I'm just curious about that. And two side dishes, you always make green bean casserole. Yeah, what are y'all's, okay, tell me this. This is what I always find interesting. What is your one thing that like you just have to have and you really prefer to have your version? Mine is sweet potato casserole. I love my version, which is my mom's, which was her mom. So it's like really passed down. You know, okay, just curious. Well, food, as everybody knows, is a big deal here. We love to eat, and so um, most people are, I'm going to get a, actually, let me think a second. I probably shouldn't have done, I probably want to do these in, I know this will be red. I need to think about colors a second. So that's gonna be red, red, probably green. Um, Maybe I should do red. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of outline these, but then I don't, there's no reason for me to paint white. That is just a habit that a lot of times I put white as a base, but I don't need it. I've got my blue, so forget that, and let's just go straight to red. Sweet potato casserole. See, mine is the one with the pecans and all the sugar. It's so bad for us. But it's only one day a year that I eat it, so, or two. You don't cook. <laughs> so, Brooke, if I were you, I would, well, you may not even care, but if I wanted the food, I would just go get it at a drive through somewhere. Because, you know, lots of places, restaurants, at least here in Texas, there's lots of options. A lot of people make that meal and sell it, you know, so you can just get a plate of it or... If you want more than that for leftovers, then you just, like lots of barbecue restaurants here, serve it and sell it. And I'm sure some grocery stores probably have it. It is such a humongous undertaking to cook the whole meal. So I would not want to do that for just myself. But I do think it'd be fun to see if there's other people nearby that also don't have somewhere to go that and then you get together and have a little get together. I think that would be really cool. Has anybody ever done that? 
of course serving at a food shelter is also great um, when you don't have you know something that you need to be doing on that day kind of keeps your mind occupied and we don't feel sorry for ourselves for being home alone potato casserole mama pa oh oh Debbie and it's so hard the first year I'm so sorry it is so so hard I remember standing in the in the kitchen and when I pulled out her recipe I just started crying I mean it is a really hard the first year all of those holidays so bless you and I hope y'all have a great day and just focus on the good memories and and tell stories that make you laugh and know that it gets better. I honestly, I wondered, you know, I was like, am I a weirdo? Because I had a hard time getting over her passing. You know, I just felt like it was so hard for so long, but it's not hard anymore. So you do, time does make it better. And I just think like that phrase where, where there's great love, there's great loss. You know, you feel it so much when you really love that person. And you just have to go through it. You can't can't really avoid it. You just have to feel it and give into it and cry when you need to and then tell the happy stories when you can. Baked persimmon. I've never had persimmon anything. Nothing. Never had it. Surgery date. Oh, Shauna. Oh, goodness. Sorry. I know, Cynthia. It is. Chicken and dressing, Debbie says. Scalloped potatoes, stewed tomatoes. Oh, deviled eggs is another one that, you know, you really. So, Linda, you'll get to be with your daughter, I guess. Does anybody have somebody special coming in like kids that don't live in this in your state or you know that's always so fun looking forward to I know it's hectic too but you know getting the house ready and getting the food ready and groceries are expensive you know ugh, all the things but honestly I, I've, I've been doing the uh, 30 days of thankfulness that most of us seem to do every year and which by the way it's not too late if you if you didn't know I'm doing that I'm sending a one text in the morning at 9 a.m. and it has a little picture and a prompt and a Bible verse and it's just something that we can be thankful for that day so I think it's really cool that all of us that are doing it we're doing this we're saying thank you to the Lord for for the same thing each day but then of course adding your own but um, it's on a special telegram channel so it's only until the end of the month and then it ends I don't you know won't have something else to send but um, it's been a really good practice and you know once I told them when we started it that once you do it for these 30 days you won't stop I mean thankfulness just becomes a way of life and you keep it up and and so each day you're thinking of the things that we take for granted or don't always say thank you for and okay that's our first coat we will do more but that's we got all our H's on I'm gonna let that dry and we'll go and do another coat oh Marie that's awesome that is so great I know y'all are excited to see him and they change so much don't they that they're going to gain a lot of weight or lose a lot of weight. I don't know. I, I think some gain muscle, some lose weight uh, from all the work they do. Sure wish that I wasn't so low on this color. And I probably have another one, but I never think to see before I hit my button to go live. Hi, Coral. Glad you're here. Yes, that's the thing, Sue, is it just becomes way of life. I read a book a long time ago that kind of got me on that. And so when when we complain or somebody around us complains, you just immediately think, but 
We're, we have so much to be grateful for. We're just missing the boat if we're only complaining because, you know, gosh, so many things that we have. Okay, let's kind of do our little Grinch. I'm going to kind of come in here with some green and get his little face down. I'm just using a small detail brush because this is a pretty small space to kind of work with. Okay. And let's go ahead while I've got this red out. He did. Oh, that's great. And so, so good for him. They really do become men if they weren't already, of course, but that is awesome. And thank you for, you know, thank him for let him know that people that online that don't know him are very appreciative for his service and sacrifice. And that goes for all of you, Connor, for sweet Jen, son, and everybody else that has a family member that serves. You know, you can't forget them at times like this. We're all looking forward to Thanksgiving and you know they're really sacrificing and not able often to, to be home and, and it's something we just kind of forget so don't forget them and, and keep them in your prayers you patty for sprinkling i appreciate that let's see valerie when your dad passed yes i believe that a hundred percent valerie yep and you know it's hard because you have to go back to work and you have to go to all the places and you'll be walking down the aisle and see someone that reminds you of that person um, or see maybe a family that has their person there just, you know, it's it can be really, really hard. Just things you don't even think, they'll hit you. So, you know, you've got to have grace with yourself and and know that those are going to happen and, and just cry when you need to. Don't be embarrassed. I'm going to kind of mess up this little... I don't want a perfect little ball because this is a pom-pom. So I'm just kind of taking my brush and tapping around it so it's imperfect. Let me show you all that. Can you see? Kind of imperfect. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and do this part of the hat. You could add a little snow here. You know, like snow text or something for this little fluffy part. And then <laughs> might do this in white and maybe make it striped. This is the exclamation point. Is there anybody on here that doesn't like pumpkin pie? I'm not a huge pumpkin pie eater. I will never order it somewhere else or even it would not be my, my first choice you know when when there's desserts on the table but my daughter is such a good baker she really I don't know she, I think she should open a restaurant she's that good really really good um, so I will eat hers but it's just not my favorite
but pecan pie man that is my go-to pumpkin is yummy pecan oh virginia you don't like pecan pie oh my goodness oh i'll take all of yours you do leanne how funny well all pie is good isn't it i mean i just cannot believe anybody doesn't like pumpkin pie i mean sorry pecan pie that is just blasphemy just kidding debbie how are you friend it's not your favorite either Sharon, you've never had pumpkin pie? Is that what you're saying? Wow. Hi, Christine. <laughs> no, Christy, I haven't said much about it. I've only said something on, like on my live. So nobody has joined. I would sure love it because this was a big deal. I have not wanted to open my private group up. You know, I wanted to just have it uh, open in, in the new year but i've got a fun calendar for december and so i was thinking you know this would be such a great gift for you guys who want something like this um because you know i mean i just literally thought of something to tell my family that i want and so i was thinking that i should go ahead and, and offer because it is just a great time to get in and um but I just have not felt good about pushing it just because I had not planned to reopen until next year. So I was kind of torn anyway about whether to open it. So basically it's open right now. If anybody has considered joining, you know, you, you, you get all of the tutorials that are already in the group. And then we do, I teach one a week and then I have a monthly paint party or paint night. So that is always something special. And then we have a guest creator come in once a month. And I was having two, but we just, it it's, gets to be too much on the calendar. So we're doing one a month. And um, I think because now you see so many people having groups and lots of events so it just our calendars were getting too busy so we're doing one a month of, of a guest and they teach something unique that they don't teach out on their page or haven't taught on their page and it's also kind of nice what i like about that part is you get a chance to visit with them on a much more intimate level so a lot of times when i'm watching other creatives that have big pages they don't even know i'm there you know they they have comments just pouring in and they just can't see everybody or respond to everybody and they definitely need to respond to uh you know to, not to me i'm just a friend so you know what i'm saying i mean in the smaller group like i have you get to ask them questions or pick their brain about something it's really kind of cool in that regard so oh hi Lori. no problem my friend glad you're here we're doing a uh, little Grinch inspired ornament. Uh, we're doing just a little bit Grinch and then the cute little wonky tree. So this is just our second coat of red I'm getting down. And then once a month, well, you can post what you're making all month long. And if you post something that I have taught or our guest artist has taught or crafter, then you get your name in the hat as many times as you do it. So some people have their name in there like 20 times. And at the end of the month, I draw and we give away um, a $20 Amazon gift card each month. So if you happen to be the one that gets it, then that has more than paid for your membership because it's only 18 a month. It's, in my opinion, affordable. So um, we have a lot of fun. I love the group. You hope to join after the holidays. Awesome, Cindy. Thank you, Lori. That would be wonderful. We'd love to have you. I think um, all the ladies in the group are just the sweetest. And of course, we have some introverts. So when I say things about the group, now there are some who will never really comment, which is the way my daughter is. So no problem. If you're one that wants to get in there and just do things and not comment, that's okay. 
because everybody's different. Oh, thank you, Beck. I love having you. Um, you know, everybody's different. Nobody has to comment or talk. You know, you can just come and go as you want to quietly. We, you know, that's cool too. Um, but I love it. We're fixing to do, and this was another reason I kind of wanted to open it up. We're fixing to do an ornament exchange, and that is always fun. We did that last year. We did a, um, like a crazy sweater Christmas party last year. We do a lot of fun things, I think. One of the sweetest things about it is we pray for each other. So if you are a person of faith, there's others who are as well and you can just go in there and say hey i'm having a tough day can you pray for me or my child is you know this happened can you pray for her you know it's really a a sweet community too so if you've considered it or would like to try it you can do one month and if it's not what you were hoping for then you just get out and that's okay we can still be friends you know there's no hard feelings if you leave um because sometimes you just don't know until you get in there if you're going to like it. But basically what you see here is what, it, you know, a lot of these ladies, you can say if you're in the VIP group in the comments, because a lot of the people you see are in there. We have two gentlemen, but they're very quiet. One is Justin, and one is Dina's husband, Kenny. But you hardly ever see them. I think they're, you know, just uh, in there for support and friendship and uh, you know Kenny may be praying for all of us I don't know but but it's just a sweet group and I love it love it love it okay these are going to be ornaments so we're just getting those painted um, you know kind of the background painted I'm trying to decide what I want to do on that last one maybe gold let's do a gold I pulled it. I pulled the right one. Antique gold. Yes, Jackie sure is. I'm glad y'all are in there. Look at all of you. Thank you for being here, friends. I love that you guys will watch me whether I'm here or there. It doesn't matter. Y'all are so sweet. And I just was kind of thinking nobody's going to be available tonight because it's a busy week. I know people are traveling and and if you're one that is traveling, I sure hope you have safe travels. And and I, I want to remind everybody to don't sweat the small stuff. Because I spent several holidays over the years sweating the stuff. You know, like, is the meal going to be good? Did I overcook it? Did I undercook it? Um, you know, does so-and-so like onions? Because I put onions in there and forgot to ask. And all the things that we worry about and my is my house clean enough i didn't get time to mop or whatever guys don't sweat it i mean i think if we've learned anything over the last few years watching covid and watching people lose people to covid and all the other things that life is too short for that so make up with your family members that you have disagreements with have a rule that you don't talk politics and just enjoy each other. Enjoy the family, enjoy the kids, and um, life is too short to sweat all the things. Just enjoy. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you're in there, guys. I love you so much. I just, I'm very protective of that group, and I really, really love those ladies. Okay, I'm going to go into my green, but I'm going to touch down to a little lime just to give this little guy a little bit lighter color. I kind of am trying to remember, is he green or is he lime? Somebody let me know. Exactly, Cindy. I mean, we, we do. We worry about so many things that kind of take the joy away from those circumstances. And then when maybe when that person passes away you realize that wasn't ever important so don't waste your time just enjoy the moment you do christy okay good well we pray for you that everything will turn out good and they won't have to do surgery i mean i keep thinking that you know you might go and he goes hey it's looking a lot better and
closer to Lyme, Linda. Thank you. I just from memory, I, I actually posted a picture of me in a Grinch sweater and still didn't pay much attention to it. So um, I found a picture on my phone from last year's ugly sweater party, and I had the Grinch arm on my sweater. Um, you know, with the hand and holding the ornament. It was cute. And uh, not cute, but it was ugly cute. Oh, Virginia, how sad. I'm glad you did get that in. Because that's a huge blessing to a lot of people don't get to say goodbye of any kind. It's just, just way, you know, happens so fast and unexpected. Okay, now that I have this gold here, I don't like the white. I was going to put stripes or something. So I am going to paint that and I guess I'm going to do red because that tree is going to be green. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this with red. I always enjoy seeing our nephews and nieces that's like my favorite part because they're all young adults now and you know one of them's married and it's just fun seeing where they are in their lives and you know you know how it is if you have grown kids or grandkids or cousins or nieces whatever you realize man they were just this big and then now you see them getting married and having kids of their own it's crazy but I always love hearing about what's going on in their world so a lot of times I'm kind of hanging out with the young ones put me at the kids table I'd be happy <laughs> okay let's let that dry and I'm gonna move on to my tree so I'm grabbing a small round brush and we are going to, yes, Mandy, you're asking about detail brushes. So I have two that I love. I love these because they've got the three sides and you can hold them so well. You just grip on with your fingers just like you would a pencil or anything. So this makes it so nice. So I love these. But for small details, they, this is a set that I just discovered on like Black Friday or some, one of those days that Amazon had a sale, might have been cyber or something. But so it comes with like a, I don't know, a set of 10 and they're like this. They're called Jerry Q. So Jerry Q little detail brushes and these are my favorite detail brushes. I love them. Um, it was just a fluke thing. They're not expensive. They're like maybe $10 for the whole set and really, really good. Okay, so let's get our tree painted. Whimsical, fun little tree. So I'm doing my green with some lime mixed in. And I really would like to have more lime. But without, I mean, I could mix. Let's just do that because I don't want to chinch it. Let's just, I, I really need to put in a paint order, if y'all can tell. So you can just mix your green with some yellow and get a pretty lime. You can add a little white if it's not bright enough. But this is perfect. So I'm just going to kind of get some of this in here along with our darker green having these little streaks kind of adds to the playfulness and just makes it look a little whimsical. So that's kind of the start of it here. Sitting on the kid table. Yeah, I <laughs> know it is. They say the cutest things too. I don't think we have any kids anymore. In our, it's all, you know, uh, older kids. Like, not kids anymore. But 
it is fun to sit at the kids table too you know the real kids table Oh, the youngest grand, is it grandchild Christy is 18? How old is the one that helps you on your house? He's married, I know, so he's not that young. You know what would be cute is if I had pom-poms, and I, I don't, but it'd be cute to just add some pom-poms on here. I think that would be super cute. Yeah. So let's show you what we have so far. Whoops there. I'm not good with this backward camera. Still going to come in here and lighten this up a little more. And I am going to lighten up a little bit. So I added a little bit of white to the little lime green kind of color I made. And we're going to kind of put that throughout in little whimsical strokes. Like so. Okay, now we can decorate our ornament. Oh, the tree trunk. Let's do a tree trunk. Oh, uh, yeah, isn't it fun, Dana? And you know that they want to be included and they're kind of put off to the kids' table, which they already, you know, are like, I'm not a kid. You know how it is. They don't always want to be there. Sometimes they do because our conversations are boring. We were laughing so hard one year because we were all talking about who got a colonoscopy that year and who, you know, all of the things and who's balding and gained weight and all. And the kids, like one of the young people, not kid, but you know, young adult walked up and they were like, and then just like walked off like, I'm out of here. This is so weird. <laughs> like, why are y'all talking about all this? Okay, here's another question I'm just curious about. Do you guys dress up for Thanksgiving? Because I know it's kind of split. Like half of you probably do and half are like sweats and stretch pants. So which is your family, you know? And I know it probably depends on if you're at a, you know, somebody else. But we'll be at somebody else's house. So tell me what y'all would wear when you're at somebody else's house. So I've got kind of a chunky tree base just because, you know, that's to me whimsical. You don't typically, usually a tree base is pretty small or thin. So anything you can do to kind of add whimsy, do it. This is just a, a really dark brown. I'm going to kind of come in here and put some stripe or not stripes, but you know, make it look a little more like wood. So, nice, but not really dressed up. Yeah. Uh, Joe, <laughs> I know for real, like, stretch pants are just amazing, aren't they? We'll be having to kind of dress, you know, not dress, dress, but look nice, which is not my favorite. I'm so much of a casual person and, like, <sighs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to, you know, 
the outfit. But trust me, mine will be the most casual there, I can assure you. I'll post a picture so y'all can see what I decide, but I'll be the most casual one. <laughs> yeah, Leanne, that's probably what we're considered nice casual, I guess. All right, guys. We got to do the ornament toppers. And I have some glitter that I pulled. And since I've got a, a gold ornament, which we're going to put some stripes on those ornaments and stuff like that. So let's do that real quick. And then we've got to do our face. Kind of trying to make it look like a rickrack here. Not really, but just kind of a squiggle. Rather than a, rather, that's how you can kind of make things whimsical. Rather than a straight line, do a little wave. Did I not turn my, I didn't turn my camera around. Because my hat's backwards. I hate that. Getting bad about that. So that's good enough on that one. What do y'all think for color wise on that? Hmm, gold and what? I agree, Marie. <laughs> I know, Dana. Ah, oh, yes. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. And I hope you guys have a great day. If you don't have somewhere you're going, just put it in the comments and I'm going to be sure and check on you. Um, because I know that I'm aware that not everybody has somewhere to go and um, I would love to just say hi to you <laughs> yeah it will be a good time for pictures for sure Virginia saying green let's do green and should we do dots or stripes maybe green let me picture this maybe dots And maybe a little larger. Or we'll do kind of some of each size maybe. I'm just trying to be whimsical. Trying to do things a little unexpected. So some large, some small will be good. It'd be cute to do these for your grandkids or something like that. Put half of one right there. And I'm going to make a little more of that lime green. And give these even a little touch of the lime green on them. And then, even a lighter, I'm going to put more white and get a really light green and touch them with that. Let me show you that up close. And then on this one here, let's add some white to that. I need clean white. So,
and when you're doing detail like that you probably didn't notice but I had my I had my little wrist kind of resting on that finger so you always have something that you can kind of rest your your hand on for stability and it really really does help oh Anna you should you know because you can do some quick ones I'm doing quite a bit of detail on these, but you can knock them out pretty quick and just line them up and do all the blue parts. So if you're going to do these, just line several up and do all the blue and then do the trees and then do, you know, and if you're, so if you're doing them for gifts for people, you can do them pretty quick by batch, doing them in batches like that. whimsical highlights I make sure to kind of use a curved little stroke like so let's do the Grinch face I know the white adds a lot doesn't it and I'll do it with the black too um, where is my black Oh, good. I started to say, did I find it? Because yesterday I couldn't find it. Quick. Let's do a little black too. And watch how it, it does make a difference to add these shading and highlights to things. Okay, let me think, um, let me turn this toward me for a second, because I know the eyebrows kind of are, like, slanted. He always looks kind of mean. And just little circles there. And then... Okay, just had to get my bearings. I can't do everything upside down well. I think it's like that. I'm not even sure about the mouth now. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, I think... I do think the inside of his eyes might be yellow. <gasps> Anna, I'm so glad. Sometimes when you watch somebody do something, you're like, I need to do that. And you should. Because just taking a little time to do something like this will lift your spirits. And then if you give it to somebody, you're lifting their spirits. So do it. And that's one reason that I always say when I'm telling you about my membership, that you are worth it. I mean, you are so worth spending $18 a month on. Now, not everybody can afford it and that's okay. And that's why I do a lot on my page. More than I, you know, probably technically should, but it's because I know that not everybody can afford it. But if you can, then please never feel bad about spending like 18 bucks so that you have this creative outlet, you have ideas, I give you all the tracers to anything that I do, and you've got community. It's just so worth it. It's so worth it in my opinion. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Um, then let me take something and kind of
Hi, Teresa. Thank you, Dana. To get discs, you got a hundred students. Rose, probably Amazon. Um, I don't know for a hundred. That's a lot. Uh, hmm. Wow. Because quality is not as important to you probably as to somebody like me who's you know i would sell some of the things i do but if you're just doing them for school ornaments that you know may make it home may not um you know you could go down on the quality a little to get a cheaper price i know when you do bulk when you're buying a lot like that you can get them pretty cheap um so oh ah. anna i love that and if you if you got in early then it's even cheaper than 18. you might be paying 15 and gosh that's so worth it um whatever you get in at whatever price you get in at it never changes so if some people got in when it was 18 the price is going to be 18 as long as they want to stay in it and so on and so on so in the new year i haven't decided if it'll go up probably will not even though everything on the planet is going up i just it's it's more important for me to keep it to where people can do it and not feel guilty because i'm one of those women who always always um, felt guilty about spending money and didn't feel like i could and so I know that there's still some people that feel that way and Do y'all think the tree needs ornaments on it or just leave it whimsical like this? Y'all let me know what you're thinking about the tree. Hi, Lori. Oh, thank you, Cindy. You're sweet. I appreciate it. 50 for 15. What? Wow. The only thing about that is, yeah, you're, I don't, I don't know those people. So I don't, I don't know if, you know, it always want, makes me wonder if we're going to get what we at, what we ordered and, Okay, so this is this trim that I've been using. Uh, got it at Hobby Lobby. It's in a big roll. And this would be super cute on his little hat. I don't know if it will work. And I'm not going to do it right this second because my hot glue gun is not even turned on. But you could cut just the tiniest piece of this or of some fur and hot glue it down on his little hat. Would be cute. See how it adds the sparkle? But I did get out my glitter. If you love glitter, but you don't like glitter all over your house and all over your face and all over your desk, then Twinkles is a great, it's called Craft Twinkles by DecoArt. And they, it's like a, it's like, here's what it, it's like clear acrylic paint with glitter in it. So it doesn't go anywhere. You know, you put it on and it stays on. Let me grab a little shorter brush. And there's a lot, let me show this to you up close. If you haven't worked with it, you know, there's a lot of glitter in it and it just stays wherever you're putting it. So there's no mess. But I love using glitter at Christmas because it just makes sense, you know. You can't really always use glitter, so anytime you can, it's fun to use. Comes in all different colors, too. Is anybody asking for craft supplies or art supplies for Christmas? I usually do, but I think I'm pretty good. I think, you know, I um, kind of have it down to what I really need and and can get by with. And 
I'm trying not to buy too many extras, but I need to put together um, a little a little basic like maybe a basic kit that has brushes some paint um, some wood you know just some things because every now and then I'll have somebody message me like private message me and ask me about that and um, it'd be nice to have something I could say here you should just get this it's got everything you need to get started because part of the problem is if you've never painted you don't know what brushes and everybody uses different you know Everybody you watch is going to have their favorites, so it gets confusing. But whoever you enjoy watching, you can always ask them. They'll tell you. There's, you know, I can't imagine anybody not wanting to share what they use. Because we just love it when you guys want to paint or create, you know. Okay, there's that. Can you all see that? Hi, Debbie. So far, just sick. Are you still sick? Oh, my goodness. Bless your heart. Ever since you've been married. Oh, poor Bill. <laughs> no, he was, he's been sick too, hasn't he? Thank you, Debbie. I miss seeing you, my California friend. Wait, Joe, your dog just had 14 extractions teeth? That is so terrible. Poor thing. Yes, very whimsical. I love whimsical. I'm going to put some glitter on this tree too, y'all. Like I said, if you can, if it's, you know, something that you can do glitter on, go for it. Why not? Debbie, are y'all still sick? If you're still on here, let me know. I knew you weren't feeling good. Um, was it Sunday? Yeah. Wait, what day was that that I saw you? No, that wasn't Sunday. Well, the last time I saw you, you were doing the wrapping, and I could tell you did not feel good. Okay, there's a little glitter on the tree. Cute, cute, guys. Simple, simple. There's not anybody watching who can't do this. So, don't say you can't. So one thing that I like to do is take things like this and like hot glue or, um, you know, you could use whatever glue you have, stick fast. So I'm kind of looking to see if I have, maybe this is a little smaller, let's see. I have a jingle bell too that I was thinking about using. I'm going to make a cute bow, guys. If y'all want to see that, we'll do that real quick because I do the messy bow. This is the jingle bell I have. It's silver, which I don't know if I love. Let's just look at it. Let's just look and see. Thank y'all for the hearts. <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> No. Here's the thing. It's whimsical. It's fun. So even if you mess it up, it's okay. You know? My class way too short to get fussy about art, in my opinion. In my opinion. Now, when, when you're a fine artist, you totally disagree, and that's okay because that's just a different type of art. What do y'all think? The silver's not bad. Do y'all like the silver? So we can put a silver jingle bell like so. Can y'all tell? See, I knew that was going to happen. Or we can put a larger red little ornament. So what do y'all think? Love the glitter on the tree. Thanks. I like that too. You can also kind of give a little bit of white around the perimeter if you want to. I kind of think it could use that. It won't take two seconds to do that. Let's just do it. So just a uh, clean detail brush and just do, you know, you do kind of need to thin down your paint a little to get a smooth 
So like if I wanted, that just didn't work too well, but if I want to go smooth, just kind of, you know, like so. Like that. Yeah, it needed that. Just need that little pop. The bell, the bell. Okay, let's do the bell. I'm going to use stick fast since I didn't turn on my hot glue gun. And if you order stick fast, be sure that you order the stick fast thick. It's not super thick. It's, you know, a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of gel to it. So it, it will hold that bell there. Yeah, exactly. The little whimsical highlights we give, give motion, whether it's in the tree or around that. Yes. Love it. And then let's make a quick little bow here. My back is about done with this chair. So pretty small, I don't want it too big. Oh, this is all the ribbon I have left of this and I've really loved having it. I bought this a couple of years ago and probably Hobby Lobby, but maybe Amazon. Lori, it's doing okay. It's, um, it's not, I did sleep last night. Um, the night before I did not get to sleep much at all because of pain, but, um, I don't take hardly anything for it. I just, I'm allergic to a lot of things. And so they can't really give me very much. I think I'm just going to do two red couple of green. I don't know that I'm going to need all that green. I'm going to use the ribbon from Dina that we used yesterday in our thing because that's super cute and will go perfect. And if you don't make the messy bow, you're missing out because this thing is so easy but yet looks cute. I have a little of this velvet so I might use the velvet to hang it with. Let's do that. Oh, thank you, Lori. Yes, I never think to say that, but I absolutely would love for you to follow if you haven't. You know, we, um, we have fun here. And I really try hard to bring y'all some things that you can do and will enjoy doing and try to be uplifting as much as I can because life is hard. And it's nice to come somewhere that you can kind of relax and hopefully you feel at home here. That's my goal. I want you to know you've got a friend and to know, you know, if you need something, you can message me and and all the things and you will see the same people here a lot and then y'all can kind of chit chat and become friends and it's just fun so just pull this through tied a little knot here at the top so that's cute as it is but we're going to add a little bow and i should now that i've got this stick fast out do y'all think it needs let's just why don't we just put this little piece across here because it definitely will add since it's got that iridescent. This is just a piece of, this is how it comes. But if you have any kind of glitter ribbon or anything, you could use that. So it just comes in a big roll at Hobby Lobby and it was in the Christmas section, but I've just cut a little piece off and I'm going to put that across the top for his little fur on his Santa hat. Let's do that real cute. Oh, thank you, Leanne. I appreciate it. You don't want to touch that stick fast to your skin. It will stick your finger to the board. <laughs> so I'll kind of put it on here and then use something else so that I'm not getting any glue on me. 
and it just takes a second. You, do, you need to press it for a second to get it to hold, but it's sort of like super glue, so it will hold pretty quick, and then it won't budge. <laughs> Dina, we're done almost. I'm making a little messy bow, and I had to put in some of your ribbon from yesterday. It's so cute and whimsical and perfect for this. So we're going to cut a couple of these. Is anybody on here going to Dina's event that's happening in May of 2023? Which will be here quick. It sounds like it's so far away, but y'all think about Thanksgiving and it's here and it just seemed like we had so long and now it's Thursday. So it just how it happens. So let me know if y'all are coming. I would love to meet y'all. But tickets are gone, so unless somebody can't go and needs to sell one, you have to have your ticket. Aw, thank you, Dina. I am so excited to hug your neck, Christy. Okay, so let's start with this because I don't want it to overwhelm, you know, our design or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a little piece of wire. You can use whatever. You can use a piece of jute, string, anything that will hold it. And I'm going to, I usually put my largest on the bottom. I'm just pinching, just kind of pinch and just kind of hold it. You can get a Bodabra and that will hold them for you if you have a hard time. Because, you know, it takes a little practice to hold, pinch, let go, let one in, you know, all that. So the Bodabra just has a slit and you can just slide them down there and it will hold them for you. Um, you can also even put on Facebook sometime if you have a neighborhood page you can put on there and say does anybody have a Bodabra they don't want and you'd be surprised because our neighborhood is really good about doing that and I put stuff on there all the time and somebody always comes and gets it whatever it is like you know if you need to get rid of something instead of just well don't put it in the trash you know take it to somebody that can use it or a place that recycles or a woman's shelter you know there's always somebody that needs what you're getting rid of but you can try the neighborhood when you need something and so look how easy and cute just just doing that and I've put my wire to the back and while I'm holding that wire to the back I'm gonna kind of just you know make sure they're pretty even and kind of play with it a second before I tighten it up so just kind of make sure things are where I want them because now's the time to move them around if you need to. And then once I black it, I really pull this down and you see that and then just kind of really get it tight. Now we're good. And we can either put that around there or sometimes I'll put it through the hole. Let's just try that. I think that's going to cover up. Yeah, that'll cover up our, our words. So it'll need to go right around the top of this. So I'm kind of putting that around this ribbon and tightening. Cut off all that extra. And then we may still need to adjust it up a little, but let's see. Now, if you know somebody that likes the Grinch, how cute would that be in a little cellophane bag to give them for Christmas? That's all you need to do. Drop it down in a Dollar Tree cellophane bag. If you want to add the shredded stuff, that's fine, but you could just put it down in the bag because it's cute on its own. So that is it. Have I forgotten anything, y'all? Thank you guys. Thank y'all for staying with me. This was a little bit long because when you do little things, sometimes it takes a little longer than if you're doing something large, but you could totally do this on a large wood piece or a canvas or anything. You can't sell unless you're licensed to sell something like this, but you can paint it for your own enjoyment or to give as a gift. Thanks guys. I'm so glad you like it. Thank you, Anna. You're so sweet with the stars. I appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Nilda, I didn't even know you were here. 
You started off, oh, you did, Christy? I bet you're fantastic at it. Good, I'm glad y'all like it. Sorry that the words are backwards. Goodness. All right, guys, I hope y'all have a great night. I hope that you answered all these questions I had for you because I'll go back and read them tonight um, before I go to sleep. So um, thank you for answering them because I know I ask a lot of things, but then I'll go back and read and see what everybody said. So if you are alone on Thursday, just let me know and I will hop on there and say something to you because I know how that feels and I don't want you to think you're alone. You're not. All right, guys, y'all have a great night and I will probably see you in the comments somewhere else. So have a good night. Bye, guys. No, no, no. <laughs> there.